In this episode of Somebody Somewhere, we're going to check out a neighborhood called the Hutongs. Uh, it's down and dirty, there's people doing cool stuff. We met up with some expats who live there and work there and have a really cool project. Check it out, you might learn something. We're in Beijing, first time. I have no restrictions. Just open to every new experience we can. It's abandoned fucking rooms. We're gonna move, we're gonna go into a hostel, we're gonna go to the Hutongs, a little more down to earth kind of place. Talks. Anyhow. When you go stay in a hostel, there's really not much to do in your room. It forces you to go hit the streets. The main thoroughfare was like an outdoor promenade. It was a street that was just filled with people and filled with junk. <laughs> it's a long road with lots of things to buy. Got to see an unfortunate little side, like a little underbelly. It seems like a lot of the locals may be getting displaced by not just foreigners, but also just entrepreneurs and, and Chinese money, just like moving into some of the more heart of the city, pushing out some of the more local communities out to the outskirts of the town. We're about to go meet up with Joe. He is an expat. He does like a local community center thing. I'm not really sure what exactly that entails, but I'm excited to find out. We meet this guy, Joe, and he takes us out to lunch. He takes us to this awesome pub place, and he starts telling us about what he does there. You live in one of these or separate homes. Uh, you, everyone knows your name, they're all your relatives. It's got a very tight like social fabric that happens. And I think it, that's why people call it the heart of Beijing, because it's kind of got that old Beijing feel to it. Um, and if you live in the Hutongs, typically you are from an old Beijing family. Um, right now, there's there's a plan for this, the Dongcheng, which is the district you guys are in. There's a plan to uh, demolish like the first line of Hutong all around the Drum Bell Tower. So many of these modern like developers and things like that kind of want to come in and like beautify or gentrify or kind of do more like building projects. So a lot of these families that have been there for decades get picked up and transported to the out, outskirts of Beijing, outside 4th, 5th Green Road, and that social fabric really gets ripped apart. That's kind of why we made our company in Hutong, because we really are focused on the community aspect of things, and that's what Hutong, I think, means to a lot of modern Chinese is. Uh, he's kind of trying to preserve the culture of the Hutongs, but also make it easily accessible for expats and foreigners. It was pretty cool to see so many people from America living in Beijing and doing interesting things and trying to start up businesses. Traveling has really opened my eyes to seeing stuff like that that people are doing all over the world. It's really cool. It's exciting. If you can get out and see it, do it. It's the most educational thing I've ever done. So we go to see this space, the Hutong. We walk in and what I was first struck by was just that the space, they didn't really break it down, they didn't do too much, they just kind of renovated it a little bit and just made it fit their needs. On the left, we walk in, there's a cooking class going on. On the right, there's people drinking tea. Then in the back, there's kind of like multi-purpose room, maybe arts and crafts. We go up to the roof, check that out. It's got views over a lot of the Hutongs. And we meet up with this guy, Morgan, who kind of is running a different department from Joe, but he's the man on site. He kind of gives us a quick tour and he tells us a little bit more about what's going on. So this space is, we call it a cultural exchange center. We really try to make Chinese culture accessible and present it in really fun, authentic ways for foreigners. So we have a cooking school, we have a tea lounge, where we do tea workshops, we have a traditional Chinese medicine clinic. So one of the great things about this Hutong area is a strong sense of community. And a lot of the locals, they have these really uh, strong traditions that they hold on to. And so a lot of people in the Hutongs, they will actually raise pigeons and groom pigeons. And so you'll see the pigeons flying up around here. It was like almost pretty much on cue. <laughs> Huge swarm of pigeons just like fly over our head doing laps around us. That was pretty sweet. So uh, yeah, when you're in Beijing, come check us out and you can see what's on. Get out of here. Stop. You know, hold on, dude, I'm serious. I'm gonna take pictures. So the Hutongs is a really cool neighborhood. It's probably one of my favorite areas in Beijing. If you're in the neck of the woods, swing by the Hutong, have a cup of tea, and enjoy yourself. Next time on Somebody Somewhere, it's Greg's birthday, we're in China, and there's a lot to do when the sun goes down. Check it out. Blech.